Hey, hey you guys. So I thought I would just pop on and share some of the home decor finds lifestyle items that I've been purchasing since now the economy is slowly but surely opening back up. So I've ran into home goods um, twice already, very short in in and out. I think I've already shared one time that I went and then I went one additional time since I spoke with you guys on my last little video. But anyways, I thought I'll put some lounge clothes on and say hey, hey, hey and share because it's absolutely so beautiful. These items that I share, um, found. Oh yeah, so let's get started. If you guys are into these um, home decor lifestyle type videos, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. All right, you guys, I'm so stoked to share these beautiful lamps with you guys, okay? I literally just picked these up the other day and I found this floral. All right, let's talk about the lamps though. The lamps are by Ralph Lauren. Absolutely beautiful. I found them in Home Goods and I just had to have them. They're so heavy. Like this, oh, it's super. When I tell you this is completely solid, crystal, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the finial. And then it has this. This is removable if you wanna um, have more light source here. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to leave them here or not, but look how beautiful it looks here on this little mirror table sitting here in front of my windows. I just like it. It just like reminds me like water, so airy. It's beautiful. And then this is a smaller version of, look, here. So here's a small one, right? There is the large one. I was so excited. So here, I got this um, a couple of months ago from Home Goods as well. And I just think it is absolutely so, so beautiful. So it's just sitting here, styled on this side of my living space, okay? And then over here, I have the smaller one on this table. I just had to get it, I love it. So I can just move them around. Let me go and do a comparison so here goes the larger one and here goes the smaller one so you can see the difference with the exact same you love it so so good they're exact same color and I actually like this color rose it's not too white um, it does have a little bit more yellowy undertone than I would like, but I still love it so, so much. Because it does really well with the golds and then everything else. So, yeah. This is what I have sitting over here. Thought I'd share. These were a little pricey, but right now, Home Goods has marked down so many items. So, this was definitely worth it. So, starting out, those flowers and this two lamps all right you guys so here goes another cutie i am gonna try another fiddly fig i found this one at home no home depot and it was 20 bucks 22 bucks you know you guys know i already have um one that's in my um room it does really well but the ones in my living room space it's not doing so good Okay, so here is the one that I had. This used to have two um, branches on here, but this these came in um, right here. They're really soft, but they I don't know if it's doing okay or not. I'm thinking I need to take it out this chrome pot and put it into a regular normal pot. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm, I'm still working on it, but it did produce new leaves right here, which are so soft. But I thought I'll just try this one. Look at the nice shine. Let me go show you one. Okay, here goes the cutie here in my bedroom. This um, fiddle leaf used to be like this short. And it has grown that much. All of that has grown so, so tall. So, this one, it does good. This Look how large this leaf is. It is so, so big. And it's steadily getting more and more baby leaves at the top here uh-huh so this one does okay over here in this window here so i just have to go play with the other ones and see if it will grow 
Okay, I did not need another cream blanket, but this was literally on sale for 12 bucks. It's nice, soft with a fringe. So when I'm at my desk working, I can probably use it there, drape it over the couch, drape it over like an ornament. It's really soft and a good material. I didn't took the tags off, but it was literally like 12 bucks at Home Goods. Like I said, I didn't need another throw blanket, but I just like that it was nice, thin, like classic looking. So yeah, actually I can go ahead on. Um, so here's my computer chair. I can definitely just leave it hanging there if I want it to, you know, when I get a little bit chilly sitting in my desk. Now this came from having it on the hanger. Probably have to steam that out. But nice little linen blanket. Look at this little cute table. Um, I found it in one of my Facebook like groups, like a decor group. And... He put it out here in his little studio. It was like 20 bucks. Well, she was one in 35, but she let it go for $20. Let me show you how it looks. It's a West Elm table as well, you guys. Nice wood. Look at that. That's the pledge. We were wiping it down. So, of course, you know, just out here in his studio. This is one of his books. All the, like, some of the pictures that he've, um taken of some of the people around here so this is his photography book here d Leroy photography there you go oh yeah and this is some of his studio so i came out here and cleaned up so now what he's doing so we won't see he's trying to add so much for that he's trying to add curtains so you don't see all of this like work Nobody wants to see cords and tools. So here, this is an IKEA Pax from Germany, um, like a closet system. And he has it here, but we put curtains on the front so you can't see inside. So that's also what he's doing over here. So you can cover up all these tools and like stuff that he needs for the army and all that stuff. And then he has his toolbox over here that needs to be a little bit straightened. But anyways, I got it here, it took me hours to get this studio somewhat decent. Oh, it was okay. decent. <laughs> it was one, to do something. No, this studio was a whole. He loves destroying things and trying to put them back together. No, this I had to get together. It's still a little bit more than what I want to see, but it's definitely uh, improved. And then I took all of his backdrops for his photography stuff and placed it over here. This is all his army stuff that we just can't get away from. Uh, and then motorcycle stuff. So it's just so much stuff in here. But I created like little zones. This is more photography stuff. His photography umbrella. Yeah. That's what I've been doing out here. And it's more like projectors and all type of stuff. Just too much stuff. Okay, so we purchased this air fryer. It's been a couple of weeks now um, off of Macy's.com. One day they were run, they were running like 30% off or something like that. And I was like, okay, this is going to be the perfect time to try this good old air fryer. We use it pretty much daily. We find so many things to just pop in there. You don't have to cut the oven on. This thing is so awesome. No complaints at all. So crooks or crooks or something like that. And I pay less than $100 for a five quart air fryer. And you can see the beautiful details, like rose gold. It's really, really nice. Love it. Okay, so I wanted to share these little stackable bins. They're from the container store. I designed plus home edit. They teamed up and they created a whole bunch of different bins. And so here goes the large one. It comes with drawer dividers if you would like to section off your items so you can have things. It would be great for, this is, I bought it for under my bathroom sink. You can place makeup palettes in here. I have two so far that's um, come in. So there's two stackables. And what I also purchased from, look how good that looks. I purchased some little clear acrylic containers that'll um, go top, on top of here. Let me show you. Okay, so I found these at Home Goods as a two pack. And look, they fit perfectly on top. So I'm 
preparing to get all this stuff together so I can place it under my bathroom sink and get a little bit more organized so I can place the other one behind here as well but I'm just going to use one and then see how I'll style the other one but this is it I thought I'll just share love it look a very this is good for your pantry and or your refrigerator if you have an old school white refrigerator like we do here in this military housing I like to use these drawers for extra storage to put like yogurt and all the little loose items these drawers type of drawers are really awesome for that so I thought I would share okay so since this is a lifestyle video I thought I'll go ahead and share some of the stuff that I picked up I wanted to go ahead and try this um, Dr. Broner peppermint soap you're supposed to be able to do every single thing with it. It's starting to get hot outside, and I wanted to switch up my soaps. I really wanted to go buy some more Crest or Dove, but I saw this when I was in the, um, what was I at? In the Walgreens, and it's a little pricey, um, but I definitely wanted to give it a try. I've heard a lot of people rave about it, and I also purchased the Pure bar soap here and it smells really really nice this one is the lavender okay so those are the items that i picked up out of walgreens i like using these wipes um because i just got over spending so much money on the uh i used to buy mac wipes all the time but i just like these and this is at the checkout that i'll just grab them because i like to keep them this does really well to remove your wake up makeup Okay, so this is called Honey Pots. Never tried this as well. I thought this would be a great time to switch up my feminine care um, soap. I don't want to keep using the other one because I felt like I was starting to get a little bit unbalanced chemically um, because I kept using that same brand over and over again. So I just want to give this brand a try. So right now I completely stopped using the other ones. Um, because I just was feeling myself a little, it wasn't giving me the same results like I used to. So this is why. So this one is a honey pot, is a foam wash and it said it's plant-based feminine care. So this is for my ladies out there for your little hoo-ha. Clean up, clean your hoo-ha. I just have to shout out Kiss Nails. This has been my number one little quarantine getting through these are actually i just put these on look how cute that color is so for me trying that little um gel home kit that i shared with me and my daughter that was super fun but sometimes that comes off these will come off too but they're just nice to switch it up how cute is that right i love the nudie color and it looks so good so this is what they are they fit well you get 28 nails in there so there you go really been loving it and then i have another style look at that i think they do some better sometimes than getting your nails done because if you, if you go to a nail tech that don't know how to do like this or they try to charge you so much more to give you this type of polish i think it's so cute of course they don't last long they don't last as nearly as long as getting your nails done but super cute get through the quarantine day so I got all type of colors. I had a navy. I've had everything. I think that's pretty much all I've got out of Walgreens. Oh, some expensive batteries, of course. So, I think that's it. Oh, I did. I take that back. I picked this. Okay, this nail polish also came out of Walgreens. I just wanted to spruce up my little toes until I'm able to get a pedicure at some point, hopefully in life again. But again, this one is by um, Sally Hansen. It's organ oil and all of that stuff. And this one is 110 and it's called Well, Well, Well. I thought that was a cute name. But look how cute that is. Nice toe color. Sandal season is coming. All right, so this is a little lifestyle video. Nothing interesting, but I thought I'll share Okay, I've already shown these in like a vlog, but I thought I'll go ahead and share it in this home decor haul. These little planters I found at Home Goods. They were marked down. I paid like 15 bucks for them. They're hard, nice solid ceramic and um i just have those greenery in there until i figure out how i want to style them and i'm looking for um the base like a like a little gold base or something to give it a little more height but if i can't find it either way i think they're still so so nice so nice i think these little branches maybe had came out of 
Hobby Lobby. And uh, if I get back over to Hobby Lobby, I think I'm just going to buy some more faux greenery and just fill them up like that and leave them be. But I like them. They're really cute. So I thought I'll put them on, on in this haul. So get over to Home Goods because they have a ton of items marked down right now. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little home decor haul. I found some really, really cute and nice things. I think my favorite has to be this little setup right here. So <laughs> really enjoying it. I'm going to leave it here until, you know, we move or whatever. And I'll find a, probably a new home for it. But Either way, it looks so good right here. And then again, there goes the other one over there. It just all flows. Yeah. Thank you so very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace. Peace.